water skiing squirrel. I mean, that was a really good. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hey, good afternoon, Side Creek. My name is Donovan Hansen. And my name is Adam LeClaire. Let's see what's going on this week at Creek. Homecoming weekend was a success. Congratulations to our Side Creek football team for beating out Side Lakes 53 to 49. Congratulations to Caleb O'Brien for being the homecoming king. And congratulations to Grace Duffy for being the queen. Attention students, the fifth annual Lighting of the CCs is gonna be on October 12th this year. And you know those really cool glow in the dark shirts that everybody seems to have? Yeah, well those go on sale today going on during all lunches. Make sure you pick one up on Main Street. Come have fun after school in the first German club meeting of this year. It'll be held today after school in room 2345. We're gonna have officer elections, there's gonna be snacks, there's gonna be t-shirts, so come have fun with us. If YAS spells yes, what does EYS spell? EYS, wait, what was the question? <laughs> wait, what? If, <laughs> wait, I'm not <laughs> Yes, E-S, I don't know. E-Y-E-S? E-Y-E-S, E-Y-E-S. E-Y-S. I don't know, that's weird. Eyes, eyes, E-Y-E-S. I didn't even think about it like that. Ace. Yeast. Yeah, Essie. Essie. Huh? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yes. Eyes? I am the one, the one you're trying to E Y E S? E Y E E's with eyes, whatever. Something like that. East. Eyes. I E Y E S. Oh! You got me. Uh, what? <laughs> if Y E S spells yes, what is E Y E S? Eyes. Yes. Yes. S E Y. Eyes. 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 Got it. I'm tripping, bro. Eyes. Oh. Y S. E Y S. I don't know. I know. Eyes. The answer is eyes. Eyes. E Y E S. Eyes. I don't know. What's a Fred? Like, really, what's the big deal? We've all heard the term thrown around the school this last couple years, but nobody really knows what we're talking about. The original story is that Fred was a mailman in Denver, Colorado that went above and beyond really what was expected of him, enough to actually have a best-selling book written about him. But a Fred here at Cy Creek is someone who does the little things to make the bigger difference, such as pushing in chairs, cleaning up after yourself at lunch, so on and so forth. So we should all really try and strive to be more of a Fred each week. And speaking of Freds, we have a few awards to give away this week. To our student, it goes to Tessa De La Fuente. Congratulations. And the award to our staff member goes to Jeffrey Miller. He was my sophomore history teacher. He was the guy that pushed around the shopping cart all those years ago. You should remember. Anyway, both of these people went far beyond what they needed to, making Psy Creek a much better place. Congratulations. Students, help light up someone's ear by joining Sparks. Sparks helps our life skills students to participate in regular high school activities. If you would like to find out what it's all about, text at CC Sparks to 81010 to figure out when the next meeting is and what all the activities are. Do you love the theater? Yes. Because Side Creek Theater Production is putting on Zombie Prom. And the shows are gonna be Friday, October 21st, Saturday, October 22nd, and Monday, October 24th. All of those shows are gonna be at 7 p.m. While on Sunday, October 23rd, there's gonna be a matinee at 3 p.m. I hope to see you there. So some of you may have noticed a fuzzy creature that's walking around the school that isn't this. Uh, so UCTV has decided to put together a little package to explain why there's a dog roaming the halls of Psy Creek. Senior Molly Meyer has an unusual job title this year. I'm a puppy raiser. Norwina is a black lab puppy whom Meyer is training. She works with an organization that has a very specific goal. The name of the organization is Guide Dogs for the Blind. Just any dog won't do for this task. Guide Dogs for the Blind breeds their own dogs up in California. They mostly breed labs and then they also breed golden retrievers. But they like to give first time raisers labs. 
This responsibility hasn't been all snuggles and puppy kisses. I went to um, three meetings and outings. So we meet every month or every like the first Monday of every month at seven o'clock at the Rock Creek um, Clubhouse, and so we went up there. We did met, and then we went to a A&M baseball game, and so those were my first outings. And then they did a home visit basically making sure that my house was safe for a dog. Norwina is a constant presence in Molly's daily life. She goes with me everywhere I go. Um, she pretty much just walks with me, I guess. Um, and then at home, like when we first get home, she'll take a nap and then we'll play. Norwina is adorable, but she must follow very strict rules of behavior. The biggest thing is you can touch her. But make sure you ask first, like don't just walk up to her and pet her because then she's not focused on me. Meyer relies on Psy Creek's FFA program to help her through the process. To raise the dog you have to have the support of the FFA program because when she's not with me she is in a kennel um, behind the ag, the ag, I guess in the prep room, behind the ag room. And so it, it all works because of the support of the ag teachers. Though Molly has high hopes for Norwina, the puppy's future is not guaranteed. If she doesn't go through the process, she doesn't pass all the medical tests and everything to be a guide dog for a blind person, um, she could either go to Dogs for Diabetics, which is, I mean, they can sense like if your blood sugar is high or low, or um, she could go to um, the Ronald McDonald House and um, She'll be around little kids and um, helping them. For This Week at Creek, I'm Jordan Rincon. Hey Cougars, this is Sterling with your weekly sports update. So tonight at 5 o'clock, JV football will be playing a home game against Cy Springs and freshmen will be playing an away game against Cy Springs. Tomorrow night, Varsity Football will be playing against Cy Springs at the Berry Center at 7 o'clock, so come out and support your boys in blue. Tomorrow night, Girls Volleyball will be playing a home game against Jersey Village at 5 and 6 p.m. Come out and support your Lady Cougars. And that's all for this week, students. I've been Adam LeClaire. And I'm still Donovan Hanson. See you later, Creek.